Namaste. Welcome. Thank you for showing up on your mat today and thank you for those who requested for me to do this. I have um, taken on my first challenge. This is the first time I have ever done this. So I've created a 30 minute fast and fun flow class for you today. It's heating and energizing so we'll get all that prana working through your body. Nothing staying stuck. Um, keep it light, have fun. Your body is your guide, so listen to that inner teacher. Here we go. Namaste. Let's come to the top of the mat, standing in Tadasana. Spread your toes out nice and wide for the grounding underneath all four corners of the feet. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Everybody inhale, lengthen up through the spine, lower down through the tailbone, lift up through the crown. Press your palms, draw the front ribs in, lengthen up one more breath. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips and fold. Take an inhale, lengthen halfway up. Draw the low belly in and up. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Step back into plank pose. Hug your elbows in. Lower yourself slow. Three, two, one. Release the toes. Take one nice in breath. Lengthen the sternum bone forward, roll the shoulders down the back, exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under, inhale, press up to plank, and exhale, return to downward facing dog. Take an in-breath, take your shoulders over your wrist, take that right knee, plug it up into the right armpit, exhale, and step back. Left knee, left armpit, lengthen the chest, step back, exhale, downward facing dog. No breaks here. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, hop or step up to the top of the mat. Lengthen out as you inhale. Exhale and fold forward. Root down strong through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up, look up, gaze up, pull the front of the hip bones up. Exhale, hands to the heart, Tadasana. Root down through your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Lengthen out, inhale, pull the crown away from the tail. Exhale, lift the low belly, fold forward. Take another one, step back, plank pose. Exhale, overshoot your wrist, plug your elbows in. Lower chaturanga, elbows hug in. Scrub the toes back, press the top to the feet, strain the arms. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, plank. Draw that right knee up to the armpit. Step back. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. Left knee hugs up to the armpit. Step back, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop or step to the top of the mat. Beautiful, lengthen out as you inhale. Draw the shoulders from the ears. Draw up through the belly, exhale, folding forward. Ground down through those feet. Inhale, lengthen up, 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 up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Good, keep it going with the heart starting to flow now. Push down through the feet, inhale, lengthen up, look up, gaze up, send the tailbone down. As you exhale, hinge at the hip and fold forward. Ardha Uttanasana, pull the front ribs in, lengthen the back ribs. Exhale, fold forward. Plant your palms flat, lift your heels, step back plank or jump back, landing Chaturanga. Exhale, lower down to the floor or flip those toes, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, forward plank. Right knee taps up, right armpit, and it steps back. Left knee taps, left armpit, lengthen that chest forward, step back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here, three cycles of breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Start to deepen in that ujjayi breath, ujjayi pranayama. Soft, whispery sound in the back of the throat. Stay here. One more breath, deepest inhale. Full exhale. So in this little faster flow today, not a whole lot of construction. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees deeply. Look forward, hop or step up to the top of the mat. Lengthen out, inhale. 
draw up strong through the belly, exhale, fold forward. Step your feet about hip width distant apart. Bend your knees, inhale, come up like you're sitting in a chair, Utkatasana, chair pose. That's it, hug the inner thighs down, outer hips hug in, draw low belly in and up, lengthen up through the sides of the waist. The crown of the head is long and lifted. Inhale here, beautiful. We lift up through the heels as you exhale. Here we go. We're going to squat down for five and four, lower three and two and one. Take that tush all the way down and come into Navasana. Take the palms forward, lower the Thumbs to face down, heart lift, draw the low belly in and up. Good pause here. Really collect in at the navel, drawing it nice and strong. Keep the back lifted. Inhale here into Ardha Nuvasana. Draw the he uh, heels forward as you lengthen back. And as you exhale, hug the belly in, knees towards chest, chest towards knees. Inhale, press through the feet, lay your back, and exhale, draw in and up. We've got three more. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lengthen it out. Use that strong core. Exhale and lift. Beautiful. Last one. Inhale, lengthen back. Really hug navel to spine. Exhale and lift. Beautiful, adding the twist. Inhale, lengthen out, lean back, exhale. Knees to the left, arms to the right. Inhale, lay back, exhale. Knees to the right, arms to the left. Inhale, exhale, knees to the left, elbows to the right. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale. Knees to the right, elbows to the left. And last one, inhale, lay back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, twist to the left. And inhale, hold here. Navasana, four, five. That's it, breathe four, and three, and two, and one. Cross up the ankles, root down through the hands. Step back, plank. Exhale, lower Chaturanga, elbows and shoulder heads line up, flip over the toes, straighten the arms, upward facing dog, press the shoulder blades into the chest, exhale, downward facing dog. Steady the breath. So even though we can move a little faster through our practice, we don't want to rush the moment. Stay focused. Stay focused on what is most important, your purpose, your intention for showing up to do this work today. Last breath, inhale. Ground down through the hands. Exhale. Beautiful job. Bring the borders of the big toes to touch. Inhale here as you take that right leg up. Exhale, come forward to a plank. Tap that right knee up towards the right armpit. Chest reaches forward. Good. As you lengthen the right leg back, press back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, come forward to a plank again. This time take that right knee towards the left tricep. Pull in and up and then turn torso to the left. Right knee to the center. Step back, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, come forward to a plank and pull that left knee up to the left armpit. Chest reaches forward as you reach out through the right leg. Step that plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, left leg up. Exhale, knee comes to the chest, over to the right side, then gaze to the right and knee to center. Exhale, step back plank and downward facing dog. Right leg floats up on an inhale. Look up between the hands and step your right foot through. Beautiful. Ground down through all 10 toes. Little bend in that back knee as you inhale, sweeping the arms up into crescent pose. Hanjayasana. Root down through that right heel, press it down and in. Lift up through the frontal hip bones and start to rise up off the waist here. 
Beautiful, drop the shoulders down from the ears. Do a little bend in that left knee. And just for a moment, take your hands to your pelvis. Let's draw those frontal hip bones up, feeling the tailbone lengthen down. You bring arms back up overhead here, soften the nape of the neck. Now press out through that left heel. All right, front ribs draw in. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, open your right arm back behind you and reach your left arm forward. Inhale, sweep that right arm back up, come back into crescent pose. We're gonna add a little knee bend here. So the left knee, back knee, is gonna dip as you inhale, open to the twist. So inhale, back knee bends, open twist, exhale, rising up. Inhale, back knee bends, open to the twist, and exhale, bring the arms back up. Good, inhale, back knee bends, open twist, and inhale, rise back, crescent pose. Good, one more time. Inhale, open it up, and sweep the arms up. Beautiful, pull the front edge of that pelvis up again. Sweep your arms out to the sides of the room and cross your right elbow underneath your left. Good, upper half of eagle pose. Strongly hug that outer right hip in, lean a little forward, press into that right foot, and bring that left knee up into the chest. Beautiful, cross that left thigh over the right, really hug everything towards the midline of your body, squeeze the upper inner thighs, forearms together, fix your gaze, and then exhale, sink it down here for a moment, into Garu Dasana. You can always take your left toes and place them on the earth. Holding here in this little time of uncertainty, right, our gaze is a little obstructed. We can still stay in our center. Release the hands to the heart. Press them together, pull the left knee up into the chest again. We're gonna take this one right through Vira Hadrasana three. So lean forward, little variation of the pose here. Lean the sternum into the thumbs. Pull the right hip crease back. Spin the left inner thigh to the sky. As you lift up through the belly, extend through the spine. That's it, shoulder blades move away from the ears. One more breath. Bend that right knee, reach it, left leg all the way back. Place the foot down and really press into the outer edge of that left foot. Take an inhale here, bring the arms up into Virahadrasana one. Pull the right hip crease back, spin the left hip crease forward. That's it, lift up through that left inner knee. Inhale here, pull the front edge of the pelvis up and sink that right hip crease in line with the right knee. Sweep the arms behind you here, but right thumb on top. As you lower the knuckles down to the earth, squeeze those inner shoulder blades together. Really hug that right hip in. Exhale, pull forward into humble warrior. Lower down, release the neck. Deep, full, wide breath. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze that right hip into the body. Lift that left inner kneecap. One more breath cycle. And then as you inhale, lead with the heart, coming all the way forward. Release the hands, draw back. Vira Hadrasana, one, one strong Vira. Press the palms together, pull the front of the pelvis up. And then exhale as you take your hands down to the earth. Beautiful. Lift your back heel up here. And step your right foot back about, I don't know, a foot or so. Beautiful. From here, we're going to really press down through the palms. You're going to rock into the ball of that right foot and let the left leg just swing up. So lift the right heel and then exhale, lower the heel and lower the left toes. Inhale, lift the right heel, swing the left leg up, press your palms into your yoga mat and then lower down. Good. Try one more time with the swing, lifting the heel, swinging the leg up, pressing palms down, and exhale, lower down. Good. Some of you might want to try the hop here or come back to the thing that you were just doing. Heel lifts, good. Left leg swings up, and we hop. Good. Press down, and we hop, just playing in our handstand here. Good. One more time, hopping up and feeling that. Good, exhale, step it back into plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga, flipping toes, urdha mukha svanasana, upward facing dog. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Through the nose, out through the nose. A lot of balls in the air, having to stay grounded to the earth connection, connection to your breath, connection to the moment. Bring it all into balance one last time. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, bring the big toe mounds to touch, inhale. Spin that left inner thigh to the sky as you lift that left leg up. Look up between the hands. Exhale, step the left foot through. Let's take an in-breath as we rise into crescent pose. Little bend in that back knee. See that the left ankle is placed directly under the left knee. Pull the front of the pelvis up. Soften the front ribs in, lengthen through the back ribs. Good, take the hands to the pelvis for a minute, and that same thing. Can you draw the front of the pelvis up and then let the pose sink down through the tailbone? Good. Squeeze your right hip crease to the back of the room. Inhale, arms back up to the sky. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, right hand forward, left arm back. Good. Sweep that left arm down, forward and up. One more time like that. Exhale, open up to the twist, hug the belly down. Sweep the left arm down, forward up. And we're going to add that back knee now. Inhale, exhale, right knee dips down, come into the twist. And then inhale, back up into your crescent pose, press through the right heel. Exhale, bend the right knee, hug the belly and twist. And then inhale, straighten that back leg, come to crescent. Good. One more time, bend that back knee, twist. And inhale, coming back to crescent pose. Pause here for three breaths. And open the arms wide, left elbow underneath the right, and we squeeze into eagle pose here. Bend to that front knee, we're going to draw the right knee up into the chest, Good. and hug the right thigh over the left thigh, crossing tightly at the upper inner thighs. Squeeze your belly to your spine, drop the shoulders down the back. Bend into that left knee, keep the length in the spine. For today, yes, long spine. Deep, full breath. Feel the embracing here of finding your balance. Lift up through the right knee. Bring the hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Lean your sternum into the thumbs as you start to lean forward into Virahadrasana 3, stretching that right heel away from the crown of the head. But again, Lift up through the low belly. Feel the support of the navel holding you here. Lengthen out. Reach through that back heel. One more breath. Virahadrasana three. And then bend that left knee. Step that right leg back and a little over to the right. Plant the right heel down. Right pinky toe presses down. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And sink that left hip crease in line with the left knee. Strong, strong spiraling of that right inner thigh to the back of the room. Frontal hip bones lift again, and then lower down into the pose. Really feel the strength here. Vira in Sanskrit means strength. Circle the arms back behind you, left thumb on top this time. Shimmy the shoulders back, draw the knuckles down. Can you feel the inner shoulder blades? Lift the heart up to the sky. Then as you exhale, leaning forward, not collapsing in that back leg, other, but using it as strength. Turn your chest to the right. Exhale, fold down, humble warrior. Lift the shoulders from the ears. Strongly hugging that outer right hip in, feeling the left hip hugging towards the right inner thigh, right arm thigh spiraling to the sky. Chin to chest, lengthen the neck. And last breath as you press into your feet. Inhale, come through. Virahadrasana one, warrior one. Beautiful, big breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, just take your hands down to the earth. Lift your right heel up. Step that left foot back about two feet. And then float the right leg up, lift the left heel. Lower the left heel, lower the right toes. 
Good inhale, swing the right leg up, lift the left heel, press your hands strong, arms are straight and strong, and lower. Good. Give it one more time, lifting heel, swinging the right leg up, wrap it right in the thigh to the sky, gaze between your hands, and exhale, lower. Now some of you like to try a couple hops here, press the hands down, swing the right leg up, kick that left heel in, good, and just play. This is just playtime, handstand playtime. A couple more. Just good to play. Don't go for perfect. Just have some fun. Beautiful. And step that right leg back right into a plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Flip those toes over the inhale, big upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath. Inhale and exhale. One more round. We spread the palms wide. Root down, index finger, thumb, pinky finger. Spin the biceps towards the ears, triceps underneath. Can you drop strong through the low belly hip points? Point to the sky. I mean, sit bones point to the sky. Your last breath here. Lift your heels high. Exhale. Bend those knees. Look forward. Hop or step up to the top of your yoga mat. Inhale, lengthen out Ardha Uttanasana. Draw strong through the belly. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, everybody, chair pose. Utkatasana. That's it. Arms are. Straight and strong. Soften the nape of the neck. Hug the knees towards one another. Inner thighs rolling down. Good. Push down as your heels lower down. And then inhale, come all the way up to standing. Press the palms, gaze up. Exhale, and bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Utkatasana chair. One long exhale. Float over the front thighs, drape down. Inhale. Lengthen it out, Ardha Uttanasana. As you keep your sternum bone reaching forward, plant your palms, lift your heels, step back, plank, or jump back, landing in Chaturanga. Lower down, lift the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. You can always insert cobra there. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, right leg lifts up, look up between the hands, step that right foot all the way through. Step the left foot over a little, turn the left heel down, and on one in breath, inhale, rising up, Virahadrasana, one, inhale to the top, pull the front edge of the pelvis up, exhale, take the hands down, lift the left heel up, step it back, plank, exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog, right away, left foot steps up, Right heel steps over a little, turn it down. Press into the back edge of your right foot as you inhale, rise up, wrap the right shin, right knee, lift up, Vira one. Exhale, hands to the earth. Back heel lifts up, step at that plank. Exhale, really hug the elbows in. Shoulders and elbows line up, exhale. And inhale up into your back bend. And exhale, return to downward facing dog. Deep breaths. Last one. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step the right foot outside your right pinky finger. Wiggle that left leg back and just drop the left knee down to the earth. Release the toes. Lift up your right foot and turn it out to the right. Let's just be in this nice lizard lunge here. Let's take the forearms down. If that's not possible, just keep the arms straight. If it's possible, interlace here. Draw the front of the pelvis up, lengthen the spine, soften the shoulders. Unsickle the back foot. One more breath. 
Everyone tuck your back toes under, lift the kneecap up. Whether you're on your forearms or straight arms, it doesn't matter here, just press through that left heel. We're all gonna step that right foot back into either a forearm plank or a full plank. Press out through the heels, draw the frontal hip bones up, squeeze the elbows towards one another. Good. Four, three. Front into that pelvis, lifts towards the belly, tailbone lengthens back. Four, two. Can you resist the earth away from you and lengthen out through the neck? Four, one. Beautiful, step back to downward facing dog or walk your feet in and press up into a dolphin pose. Ears feel soft. Resist that head from crashing down onto your mat. One more breath. Those of you in downward facing dog, just stay in downward facing dog. If you are practiced, from dolphin, moving into downward facing dog. Do that here. If not, drop your knees and then go into downward facing dog. It can be very tough on the shoulders. So make sure you take care of your body. Expensive transition. Inhales, that left leg floats up, left inner thigh spirals up. Look up to your left hand and step your left foot outside your left hand. Wiggle that right leg back, drop the knee down, release the toes. Lift that left foot up, turn the toes, knee a little towards the left, sink into the hips. Good, again, you can just keep your arms straight and lifted, or you can work your way down to the forearms, interlacing with the opposite thumb on top. Now keep the stretch here, so the crown of the head is Moving away from the tailbone, really getting into the deep hip flexor muscles here, so as this deep hip opener. Like I said, this is a, a quick 30 minute flow. <laughs> so we're just getting it all in, right? All right, tuck the back toes under, lift that knee up, press out through the heel. At the same time, lengthen the sternum. So we want to root down away from the earth. Whether you are arms are straight, or you're gonna stand your forearms, we're gonna step ourselves into a plank. So it's either a forearm plank or a regular plank pose. Out through the heels, tailbone lengthens, streams back, chest moves forward, breastbone moves through the collarbones. We push down to lift up. In both poses, the thighs, the backs of the thighs are lifted. And we're here for three more breaths. Holding steady. And the last breath here. Then now send your hips up and back to downward facing dog or into a dolphin pose. Either one. Take this nice inversion, spinning inner thighs towards the back of the room. Same action in both poses. Bicep spin forward, tricep spin underneath. Front ribs draw in. Torso lengthens, relax the head. Four, three, and two, and one. Beautiful work, everybody drop to your knees. And take a child's pose here, just for a moment. Relax the crown, relax your shoulders. And we just take a few moments to resource ourselves, come back to center. That unwavering, unchanging part of self. And take your hands next to your knees and sit up. Bring your knees to one side, heels to another. We're gonna come forward now, straightening the legs. Let's take a moment in Dandasana. Press down through the heels. Take your hands next to your hips. And let's wrap the inner shoulder blades in towards the chest. Push down to the hands and just press the heart up to the sky here. Roll the inner thighs down. Hug the low belly in, up, and back. There's a lightness here in this pose. You should just lift yourself up and off the earth. 
Really nice. As we take it down to our backs, let's reach the arms forward. Turn the palms up. We're going to lower down to the count of 10. So I really want you to use your core strength here. Hug that low belly in, up, and back as you lower down. 10, 9. Keep the tailbone tucking under. 8, 7. Slow it down with the shoulders and up, down the back for 6, 5. You're halfway there. Stay strong for 4. And three, keep that tail one tucking under. And two, slow, 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 slow. And one, release everything down. We'll keep the palms turning up. Just let the toes spill out for a moment. Bend your knees, feet flat on the earth, feet hip bone distance apart. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Lift your hips up slightly, slide that tail one towards the heels. As you press down to the backs of the hand, into all four edges of the feet, underneath the big toe mound, pinky toe, and center of the heel, rooting down there, lift your hips up. Interlace your hands underneath that tailbone, right thumb on top, and let's shimmy those shoulders underneath one more time. Beautiful, ground down through the feet, press the navel to the sky, tailbone lengthens towards the heels. Instead of squeezing into the glutes, can you press underneath the toe mounds and heels of your feet press out. Shins reach towards the back of the room, sternum towards the shin. Good. Give it one more breath, really firm into the backs of the arms. And release the shoulders out one by one. As you lower the spine down, keep the hip bones hugging towards that front side of ribs, and the tailbone comes to the earth last. Inhale here. Exhale completely. And we're going to inhale, pressing up into one more bridge, pressing underneath the balls of the feet. Inhale, float those hips up, interlace underneath the tailbone, Left thumb on top, shimmy the shoulders up underneath, press into the backs of the arms, belly to the sky, and the thighs wrapping down. Three deep breaths, collarbones are wide. Four, two, hugging shin bones back. Big heart opening bridge bows for three. See that the knees are not splaying wider than the hips. Two. And release your shoulders down. Good. Paint the spine down. Nice and slow. Resisting as you lower down. Tailbone comes down last. And open your feet now wide to the edges of your yoga mat as you start to sway the knees from side to side. Take the arms behind you in a nice diamond shape. And let your knees fall to the left side of the room, both knees to the left. Left ankle just rests on top the right knee. The weight of the left foot is enough. Let it lengthen the thigh bone, not just forward or not just down, but forward and down, stretching out the right hip flexor. Give it one more breath, feel into the entire right hemisphere of the body. Deep breath. And release the left foot, come back to center. Exhale, rock into the inner and outer hedge of both your feet as the knees come to the right side of the room. Give it a breath, and then set the right ankle over the left knee. Again, the weight of the foot is enough. Feel that left thigh bone lengthening forward, not just down. And breathe deep into the belly. Deep diaphragmatic breath signals the nervous system to calm down, center. You can release your right foot and take your knees back to the center. Heel toe, your feet. Let's hit one just as part press. Your feet down, lift the hips up slightly so you come into some symmetry here. Bring the knees into the chest and arms through the inner thighs, holding onto the edges of your feet, or if that's too much of a reach, just hold the ankles or shin bones. 
Turn the feet up to the sky, spread the toes. Press your feet into your hands on your inhale. As you exhale, let the knees just soften down towards the outsides of the shoulders. Pull back on the earth. Belly soft. I'm prepping the body here for Shavasana. One more breath. Let everything start to quiet down. Let your bones start to feel a little heavier. I'm playing with the force of gravity. Soles of the feet come together here, and then we'll take our feet to the earth. Into the Sukta Baddha Panasana. Just let the knees cry down. Hands on the belly. Take a deep inhalation. Let the belly expand into the hands. And as you exhale, let the belly just fall back. Natural wave of the breath. Inhale again. Deep into the belly. Feel the breath expand. And as you exhale, releasing the belly down. Take one more breath. And just gently now release the hands and walk the legs out. Just straight. Let the feet peel open. We rest here for two minutes in Shavasana. There's nothing left to do to change, to fix. Just honor this time here on your mat. Honor this time in silence. We value silence. by Julia Cameron. My body is my teacher and my guide. My body is more than a vehicle which carries me through life. My body is a storehouse for my memories, a sensitive radar kit which warns me of danger, a wise teacher who signals me how to best care for my spirit. When I listen to my body, I am led into right and wise actions. When I take Seriously, the guidance it offers, I make decisions which honor me in a holistic way. My body grounds me and protects me. My body is sacred and is a knowing temple. Often, the intuitive warnings of my body regarding people, places, and events are the deepest safety I am given. I bless my body for its loyal surveillance on my behalf. I bless my body for its patience, endurance, and its mercurial intuition, and its persistence in speaking to me even when I sloth aside the guidance it bears. My body is the most loyal of my friends. I bless my body for its loyal companionship. 
and commit to regarding it with tender care. You slowly start to deepen your breath. And feel the expansion on the inhale. Keeping that sense of expansion even as you exhale. breath moving in and out from your center. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly bring the knees into the chest. Walk a little from side to side and eventually over onto one side. You can always feel free just to stay in your Shavasana. making your way back to seated, as comfortable seat, eyes closed or gaze soft. And while we just sit tall, move down through the base of your spine, lifting up through the crown, taking residence in your body temple. Let's join together the hands at the heart. In deep honoring of this practice, of the time spent on your mat. So much gratitude to all our teachers, to all that life is teaching. Move it down to the base. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, luring the mind down into the safety, some peace and the shanti in the heart center. The willing and always loving guide. Om Shanti, thank you for practicing today. Namaste.